<laughs> well, Gonzo said we're a third level as soon as the fireball is done. Or finishes the level. Yes. It startled this into the That feels great. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Your this guy. <laughs> he did. Oh, I Welcome to another episode of More Than Dice Gangs of Waterdeep. We are now on episode seven. Um, so we'll be doing this. And just so everybody knows, before we um, left off, uh, the group of people were on their way back to uh, the Troll Skull Tavern. And on their way back, they ran into a fireball, of all things to run into, um, right by their residence. Um, they did Who's level out collecting up. money. Yeah. Um, y'all did level up as soon as right before the fireball went off, pretty much. Um, so y'all are all now level three, which actually is a pretty relevant part of being a character. You get to choose what, Chris? New spells. And one. <laughs> yeah, one new spell. <laughs> <laughs> Think for yourself. I got a bunch of psychic cool stuff. Yeah, I got cool stuff too. Mizzy, what'd you get? Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. What 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 did you bring? I got. Here? Um. Don't remember what it's called. Oh, because you're a rogue. You're asking... Yes. Hang on. Hang on. You didn't read the instruction manual that came with it. <laughs> you just pulled out I all the parts and started it's just using been them. A week. <laughs> I've had a meltdown since then, okay? <laughs> Cut me some slack. And Alamar is alliterating this week. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, Landry, did you change? While she's looking that up, did you change anything? Uh, so yeah, Landry, whenever he levels up to level three, he gets uh, an additional first spell slot and two second level spells. Nothing cool. I think it's level four I can do the ability score improvement, so not quite there yet, but ready for that. Probably go with a beat on that one. But Damon, we'll see. did you get anything cool? I was able to choose uh, an oath, um, and so I chose oath of uh, goodness. What did I choose? Oath of uh, doo, doo, doo. the sacred oath, oath of devotion, mm -hmm. which uh, gives me two abilities, um, two channel divinity uh, divinity uh, options, sacred weapon, and turn it unholy. Oh, yeah. Now, I was looking at your character sheet, and you know that you have the ability to attack twice in combat because you have two weapon fighting. What? <laughs> I'm <gonna laughs> shoot myself. Yeah, I was looking at some character sheets kind of. It's drug, like, it's like my left hand is twitching. So, yeah, like, bonus action, you can fight with your shield. not Saralysis. <laughs> I can actually hit somebody with it. <laughs> so, that means I can, I can swing twice with my hammer? No. You no. have so, your one in your right hand, one in your left hand. Okay, so I can shield left. bash. Yeah. Okay. So it's like can... with my rapier and dagger. I've awesome. got one in one in each hand. You better believe people are going to start getting the shield. <laughs> uh, and I know, is, is your shield actually on your character sheet? Because I'm not seeing it. <laughs> what nonsense do you speak of? <laughs> there it is. It is there. I thought so. I was like, what? It's very small. <laughs> it's very smart, very smart. <laughs> Bucklers yep. are not envious good. of the shield. <laughs> okay. I want to make sure because it wasn't showing up. So it's it does not show arm. up as a, as a weapon, though. Yeah, so. It's an arm strike is what it is. Okay, awesome. Cool. 
Unless the shield has something special to go along with it. Um, Chris, you said you only got a spell, correct? Well, no, but I also got uh, more modifiers, uh, more meta magic. Gotcha. So I can uh, twin spells now. And I get and to twin spells. Uh, well, you get to. Well, not until I get a long rest. <laughs> I used it twice already. <laughs> Dang it! I was going to just automatically throw another wow mage spell out there. Just I think the DM's it. allowed to do that whenever he wants. <laughs> yeah, no. I need time. to pull that up anyway. <laughs> Making <it> sure. <laughs> John, you actually had to do some changing to your character sheet too. What happened? Um, yeah, I wasn't using one of my uh, the, the feet that I started off with, so I had to change it up because I was using. Well, I wasn't using it at all. I'm actually doing something differently, which was using my hand crossbow as a uh, foci equivalent to fire my uh, Eldritch Blast, but I didn't realize, you know, being within like five feet of somebody that ca causes a disadvantage when you cast spells. So I just changed it to, from spell sniper to uh, crossbow specialist since I wasn't using it the other way. Um, I also got two invocations and then uh, then a pack, that my pack's gonna be adding a new brother. So I can add a familiar and the familiar is Tall enough to pretty much be one of the brothers. Yeah, so it's going to be a fail. I'll, I'll add that in a little bit later once I have an hour downtime. And then, uh, yeah, I'll probably do the whole uh, following the cleric's guidance there with the whole hammer thing, since I actually do have a hammer. I'll start using that more in melee. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, Chris, you actually wanted to change your chromatic mm -hmm. orb to chromatic yes. hammer, correct? That is correct. I love my brother's idea that <laughs> we need to show our devotion to Mord and even more. Hammer so, time. I'll be throwing chromatic hammers now. Instead of chromatic orbs, which is okay. Yep. It, it doesn't change any difference in the, the the spell. It's just you know something for fun. Visual anyway. effect. I'm just I'm just envisioning him saying it's hammer time and then he casts a spell. <laughs> then my little tiny guy does a dance. So <laughs> Totally picturing Lady Gaga's Chromatica album going in the background. <laughs> yes. Or what I'm really thinking is like one of those jeweler hammers flying out from his hand because it's so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like about two inches long, flipping around. <laughs> so, Busy, did you figure out what you uh, what you got? Yes. So I chose <laughs> the Soul Knife Roguish Archetype. Which gives me psionic power. Um, I can. I have telepathy, as well as uh, psychic blades. Which means you and, don't have to worry about weapons anymore, or do you have to? Um, I have. I can. I can still keep my weapons, and as a bonus action, use my psychic blades. Okay. All right. So, like I said before, we left off. Uh, you were definitely walking back to the troll skull and a fireball went off um, right by your place. Um, <laughs> you're no more than like maybe not even half a block, just, you know, feet from where this happened. Uh, yards type thing. So what do you plan on doing? Is this, does this, uh, this, does this, does this affect us at all? Or like we just you like. You kind of get a shock wave and, you know, the heat and stuff, but you don't get actually any damage from it. I was about uh, to say, don't try I, to kill me first thing. But it exploded near our place, right? Correct. Time I wanna, to go. I want to <laughs> like. I want to warg into my uh, my owl. That's a uh, old Pequod flying up ahead, and uh, I want to like perception the area if I can. See if I see anything shady or like you know. And okay. I will sprint down the street. I'll follow my brother. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then because it's the owl, he gets advantage. Mm -hmm. So sixteen. So sixteen. What what do my owl eyes see? Give me a second. Um, you're flying around and you, your owl sees quite a few bodies. Oh no. Anybody I know? <laughs> is, there, is Jalister in there? Tell me Jalister's okay. <laughs> That's the only name I remember. Okay. Uh, well, you fly around and you see, uh, you do see an elderly female laying on the ground. You see two cloaked female humans. 
um, two female humans, uh, one male half elf, uh, a gnome, and two female halflings <clears throat> laying I, around in this area. Like my eyes are all white and everything. I go, oh, those people are hurt over there. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, people are hurt. <laughs> I suck at medicine. Just I'll start time. making my way to, that way. <laughs> running. I, I'm actually kind of good at medicine. So whoever looks, well, whoever I come up to All first, right. I just start, start taking care of them as I go. I will look for anybody who may have survived and point them out to the people who are better at medicine than me. Um, you start running up to the bodies and they're dead. A total of 11 people are dead on the ground. Eleven people are dead on the ground. Yep. I mean, it's horrendous, but that guy got a pretty good spread. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a like a terrorist thing. Is that what we're looking at here? <laughs> like, what is uh, this? Is like more than gang violence at this point, right? So is our establishment actually one of the ones that got hit, or is it just like in the blast radius, or not it, at all? It's taking some damage because it was in the alley <laughs> of Troll Skull. Oh, Holy <laughs> crap! Uh, is there? Is there That's anybody the like? Are we going to be on our schedule now? Is there anybody <laughs> booking it, like running? Uh, give me a uh, perception check. Solid. I'm, I'm I'm walking around giving each person their last rights. Okay. Oh, that's tight, dude. <laughs> uh, ten. You don't see anything. Okay. There are yeah. other people walking around um, and trying to, you know, freaking out and trying to, you know, get in their head of what happened um, and everything. But you definitely see 11 bodies on the ground. <laughs> I mean, we should we should go for the guards, brothers. And these bodies are definitely dead. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll, right. I'll also look around more too, just to see if I see anybody on the. Do these look like whatever. normal people bodies, or are these uh, like gangster bodies? Like, are these like, do they have symbols on them that says like they're part of a gang or anything like that, or is this um, like just civilians that are on the ground? You like do notice people? that one of the dead male humans has a black wing snake tattooed on his right forearm. Okay. Um, and you kind of look over, and there is a dead gnome. Um, and you're kind of looking over, and something looks weird about his boots. I am going to make a run and try to find some guards. Okay. We walked this way, so if I remember any guards we saw along the route, I'm going to run back that direction. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go check out those boots. And you can follow my brother, yeah. just to cover him. Give me uh, another perception check. Okay. That is a 16. No advantage. Uh, you I'm notice, because you actually kind of get used to this, you're like, you recognize that there is dried waste on the boots. Like this person has spent time in the sewers recently. Okay. You do also notice that there is, he does have a pouch on his body. Yeah. I'll grab that pouch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just had a plain day. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to look at it. I'll look at it. I'll look at it. It's okay. A... Uh, you look at it, and you open it up, and it's got gems and stuff in it. How do you tell of an adventurer? Oh, look. He doesn't need it anymore. It's mine. Uh, I, I don't know what the law is for dead bodies, but I can't imagine. I'll put it back down. <laughs> and cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're like... Fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I go back and grab it. A <laughs> bag of gemstones. <laughs> he puts it down, cast visibly, goes back. Cough. <laughs> 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 oh, God, that's good. That's great. You are not a thief. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even going to try. And then the other guy with the snake, uh, snake tattoo <laughs> or snake. Go check him out. Okay. All you notice on him is that tattoo that stands out. Okay. 
I there are other to... people standing around that you know are in gawking of this, but you can hear that the guards, Chris, you start seeing guards heading your way. Okay. Hmm. We're not very visible, probably. Can I? Can height. I ask? Can I ask anybody <laughs> if they've seen anything? Yeah, go right ahead. Um, you see quite a few people uh, all around here. You see uh, the that... owner of the Corellian's crown, Corellon's crown. He's just standing there, just wide-eyed. I'm, I want to go and like <laughs> pull yourself together, man. <laughs> What'd you see? What happened? <clears throat> well, I was watering plants in the greenhouse on the second floor. And when the blast blew some out, the, some of the windows out, luckily I, I wasn't injured. Through the smoke, though, I saw a cloaked man take something from the body of a dead gnome and then start limping away. He Which direction? He was badly. Uh, he actually was looking kind of paranoid and everything, like he, someone was following him. Uh, I saw him head towards the bent nail. Uh, okay. Do we want to pursue this? Like, these people need to be avenged. Absolutely. I don't know if we're back yet. <laughs> <laughs> so does uh, does Creed hear this with me? Like, are, are Creed, are you with me? Yeah, I was there giving rash right, so I would think I would be in the vicinity. Yeah. There's a couple other ones. There's a couple other people. There's a little boy. Um, I, there's a, it looks like a pretty well dressed water, uh, water Davian. Yeah, let's, uh, let's start. Let's, let's just bounce. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's head towards the bent now. Okay, you two, you by yourself or you and Creed? I, I will only go if Creed goes with me because I can't I can't I can't do heroic stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's... Am I am I done with the last right? Um uh, no. Okay. I'll be ready to go when I'm done. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll get my owl as far away as I can to look towards the bent nail to see if I can see any cloaked figure. Okay. It heads off. Um the brothers, did you all go together? We covered each other, yeah. Okay. Just, you, you see guards starting to come make their way towards y'all. Don't head back. I mean, we just gather them if we can and then head back. We'll have Alomar wave them because I think we're <laughs> probably too short for them to notice us unless the street's completely clear. Okay. They, they start running towards y'all. No problem. Okay. Then... I know we're slower than him, so I will start running back towards the alleyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Okay. You you get back there, and you start seeing a bunch of guards from all around the area start coming in. Um, you actually see um, about 12 guards, six on each end of the alleyway, guarding it. And kind of blocking people off because people are starting to come and see what's going on. Well, we'll get to our wizard and our paladin if we can. Okay, they're over there. Creed is still doing like last rites and stuff and praying over each one of the the individuals. I'll uh, pay more attention you do to that. hear a screech <laughs> in the air. And your bird hears this quite quickly and it alerts you uh, as you notice a griffin cavalry rider is flying around uh, scouting the area out. Like a, like a police helicopter, but like, you know. Which like... screeches because it's making itself known that if they're there. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> so, <laughs> we should probably get out of here. <laughs> it's not I, like I'll... we did anything bad. I, I'm gonna, I wanna, yeah, like, none look, of us I wanna... did anything at all. I want to look at Alamar and be like, Alamar, <clears throat> Jim's in the, <clears throat> the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just like start pushing people back. Like, all right, everybody, let's get back. Let's back. <laughs> the worst. Oh my god. 
You can see the guards have already blocked off the alleyway and have started uh, surrounding the people that have passed away. Um, they, of course, don't... The Creed, they let you do what you need to do. They don't, you know, push you away or anything. Um, they can see what's going on. They're not, you know... <laughs> not assholes about this, so... They'll let you keep on doing that. Um, so... You've got some people standing around. What's your plan that you're going to do? Yep. Open and shut case. Gang violence. (laughs) 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 So Uh, there was 12 guards total? Yeah. There there are six on each end of the alleyway blocking people from going down it. Are we with Creed and Landry? Yeah, yeah. Y'all are all there. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Everybody's there. You didn't know what side of the line of the guards were on. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you're you're actually getting shuffled out of the alleyway. Okay. They're letting well, Creed do what Creed does because you know, religion. But they're not gonna, you know, they don't want anybody else hanging around. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll help Creed. So in the shuffle of things, <laughs> you think that they would be distracted enough that I could get the gems that Landry told me about. It's up to you. Well, I will talk to people in the crowd. Okay. Especially anybody I, I've recognized from the alleyway. Because I'm sure I see people that I've not met yet. But um, I've seen them before. I'll, I'll let Dean know. Like, you know, I'll fill him up as soon as he gets there. I said, hey, they said somebody in a cloak was heading towards the bent nail from here. What's the bent nail? That's the shop. Yeah, it's one of the shops. Ooh. Oh wait, that's the carpentry shop. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like right there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's right there. <laughs> um, there is right. a little boy. <laughs> I'll jog the forty feet. Oh well, uh, there's a little boy to talk to. I'll talk to. Him. Um, Go that check is out this hiding behind shop. a water barrel. It's kind of like peeking out and such. I will. You're too tall and intimidating, Landry. You go talk to the carpentry guy, which you're best friends with. I know. <laughs> I will go talk to the little boy because I'm sure he's taller than me <laughs> and won't be as scared of me. I'll wait. With I'm not my get jump. turquoise green <laughs> quick skin and really long ears. I will go talk to the young man behind the barrel. Okay. Uh, it's just a little boy. He's, he's kind of like peeking out and everything. Are you Okay. Yeah, my friends died though. <gasps> Who? My halfling friends. They died, and right after the explosion, I ducked behind this rain barrel, and I heard a plop, and found this in the barrel. And he holds up this little necklace with two beads on it. Oh my goodness! Can I see it? He kind of holds it up to you. Is it pretty looking? Oh yeah. Oh, mm. I gotta get my food, so I'll be right back. Uh, give me two minutes. Okay. Whatever you do, don't pull one of the beads and launch it somewhere. I'm just kidding. That's right. Well, Sam, if you want to help me do Slam this. the whole necklace into the ground. That's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> don't even check it for magic. <laughs> you also see a man at the very top. The, the, the well-dressed uh, Water Davian, he comes up to uh, Creed and goes, hey, I'm going to tell you, this wasn't a man that did this. More like a puppet shaped like a man. A puppet without strings. It was on the rooftop. It hurled something in the crowd below that caused the explosion. I saw those halflings burn to life. I saw them. Talk so much yourself. <laughs> Garso's just a master of cliffhangers, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> People ran over there went, I, I gotta give them something to talk about and run back. Right, right. The guy's on the porch with the food. One moment. <laughs> <laughs> One moment. <laughs> I don't think this is the conversation Gonzo had in mind, but you know, hey. <laughs> Pop it without strings. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Where's my What are you gonna say, Creed? I was like, if you were going to come over and help me with last rice, I'm, I'm going to actually teach you how to do it. All right. <laughs> Sam has a new skill. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do with these old pouches? <laughs> oh my God, stop, put it down. <laughs> what are you doing? 
<laughs> Sprinkle everything they own upon their body. <laughs> Look at all the coins. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should take this opportunity to also learn last rites, but for motiv- motivations that are not religious. <laughs> are you planning on killing someone? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's only 11 bodies. Now there's 14. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <Now there's> 14. <laughs> <laughs> These three aren't even burnt. <laughs> They're, night in They're not going to use their worldly possessions anymore. Why do they need to keep them? <laughs> Exactly. I'm gonna try uh, to buy this necklace from the little boy, and I don't. There's my money. I was like, "Where's my money at?" <laughs> it's right there. I just want to know why this gnome had to die. <laughs> you got an affinity for gnomes, bro. The rest uh-huh. of them, he doesn't. he's like halflings and humans. They deserved it. I surround my- gnome. yeah, gnomes. <laughs> gnomes. I surround myself with people smaller than me. I understand that. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Alamar's the exception. <laughs> my brothers, you know. She counts as a Verdan. Yes. <laughs> I have the heart of one. Yes. <laughs> All right, so where are we at? I'm going to offer the young man a two or five silver for the the necklace. Wow. Uh, okay, he hands it over. <laughs> I'm gonna Creed's teaching me and Alamar last rites, so we're, we're taking care of the people with helping Creed with the last rites. Alamar's doing her way of last rites. <laughs> okay. Ask oh. him if he noticed anything else. No. That's all I remember. I mean, my friends are dead now. Do you need a hug? Yes. Okay. I'm going to hug the <laughs> small boy. <laughs> Put your arms out farther. Powers over me. <laughs> Okay. Where do you live? Uh, I go over here. I can go home. Let's go. Come on. Let's go talk to your parents. He lives farther away than where he's at. He was just here watching his friends play. So oh, are these are dead actors? halfling children over here? No, just dead halflings. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, is none of the halflings that work work for us, is there? No. Well, were they I mean, were they actors? They were putting on a play. No. And they were doing, you know, dancing and singing and playing a flute. Oh, that's bad. Uh can I ask the guy who uh the well dressed man who told us it looked like a puppet, like if he could go further into his description? He's like, it looked like a puppet with no strings walking. I saw it on the rooftop and it hurled something down into the crowd and that's what caused the explosion. Was it in a cloak? No. Oh. Okay. Why the terminology puppet? Because it looks like a marionette. Does uh does my owl see anything on the rooftops like running along the rooftops or anything like that? No. Well, since Landry's not heading to the bent nail, I'll head over to the bent nail. He he said he just ran towards the direction of the bent nail. He didn't go into the bent. You see a very stout um, guardman walk up. You can definitely tell that he's got a. He's insignia. He has a sergeant insignia on his uh, right shoulder. And he's like starting to take charge and starting to, you know, direct people to do this and do this and start covering up bodies and, you know, so on and so forth. Are we done with the last rites? Yeah, you're you're pretty much done now. Was I able to find anything valuable? Uh, 
you would like to try to get that <laughs> off of his body? All right. Yes. Uh, roll a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Sixteen. You're able to pocket it. You believe? Oh. You pick it up and put it in your pocket. Yay! <laughs> wow, last last rights are lucrative. I didn't realize that. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder why Creed went to everybody. Sweet, sweet. You get your fee for doing I, last rights. I just forgot. Um, I forgot that part of it. I should have been discussing my practice as well. <laughs> you bug us when we buy anything. What do you mean you forgot that? Honestly, I'm not forgetting. I'm just trying to be I know, I'm, just I know. I'm just picking on you. I am just contributing my part to our bank account. <laughs> so what next, Creed? Are we are is, is, man when all the bodies are are have given their last right? I guess we're heading towards the rusty the rusty nail, the bent nail. Bent nail? Okay. Yeah. Hey, there's Dean. <laughs> hey, there's your brother. It's brother. like 30 feet away. I mean, <laughs> wandering off by himself again. I know, dude. Um, this uh, sergeant walks up to y'all as y'all are leaving the area. Given there's like, what are y'all doing here? That's right. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Am I in the general area of this, or did I already walk off? No, you're all there together oh, okay. in the group. Have we introduced oh. ourselves to this one card before? <laughs> of course you have it. No. So I'll wait as I light my pipe. <laughs> Hi, that's Sam Smith. <laughs> Hi, that's Alamar Smith. Hi, that's Dean Smith. We're brothers. And we also own this building here. And yeah. all of a sudden, you see a portly short Man, uh, Chris, roll a perception check. Uh, Dean and uh, Landry, roll a perception check. Yeah, that's about right. That's a 23 count. <laughs> All right, John gets it. Um, you notice oh, that on his uh, body. He has a symbol that shows that he's part of the watchful order of magistrate and protectors. And he starts telling the guard what to do. And he starts, the guards start, um, the water deep, water deep guards are now spur dispersing around the area, knocking on doors. While this uh, portly, older, bearded gentleman is uh, checking out the scene quite intensely. I give the mental image to uh, Dean so he knows what I'm looking at. Ooh, a badge. Finally, someone has a badge. <laughs> All these organizations just wandering around willy-nilly. <laughs> so he just, he asked us what we're doing here. I introduced myself. We introduced ourselves and pointed at our building, and then he just stopped talking to us. Well, he actually directed everybody. <laughs> okay. And then he's like, and... um some of the guards will come. He, after he does that, he goes, I'll have a guard come and talk to you about what you saw. I need to examine can, the crime scene. Can we get your name, sir? Oh, Barnabas Blastwin. You're going to need Blastwin. to start taking notes, people. Uh, for the record, Barnabas, uh, we didn't see anything. <clears throat> we walked up on the scene. Well, I'll be asking you what you've seen in the scene in a minute, but I need to inspect the scene as it is right now. If you look at my character sheet, Gonzo, in the notes section, I have tons of notes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just saying everybody needs to make sure that they're taking notes. Because this is going to get pretty crazy. I have a Google Doc of notes, but I'm also taking notes in my deep character sheet now. So, Barmus Blaswin. Uh, so, can we just make our way to the troll skull? <laughs> and just, All right, he's know. like, no, you need to stay here. We've got questions for you. Because okay. this did happen at your building, pretty much. Uh, yeah. We also went and got those guards. Well, oh, that guard. We, 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 and then 
we greatly appreciate. They, they've separated. I don't know. There was a bunch of them right there. Now they're Sergeant, can you handle these people real quick while I go look at this? <laughs> Just stop talking to this guy. <laughs> the the sergeant comes up and says, so, and he starts taking down your names, and he says, yes, I've heard you three brothers before. Um, and, and your name? Oh, Seth Cromley. Cromley, got it. How uh, how how how, <laughs> how far are we from the uh, from the, the map. Okay, look on the map because it is not far. Oh yeah, the map. Like the map. less than sixty feet, you'd say. Uh, probably well, our there. building actually got touched by the fireball. So yeah, yeah. so I mean, if we're halfway between that nail and us, it should be. Okay, I want to like as we're standing there, like I want to like cast unseen servant and like my you know little well-dressed uh man comes out and i say hey go 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 walk into the troll skull and get all these guards waters bring that out for them so they can <laughs> shuffle him off to go get waters okay. <laughs> you do that um after like a few minutes uh probably taking down your names uh barnabas comes back and goes ah you are the new owners of the Troll School Tavern, I see. Yes. Um, good. So we're going to have a few questions for you. Um, what do you know of these people that are dead on the ground right now? What do we know? A little know? boy told me those two halflings were doing a play. Uh, the rest I don't know anything about. Uh, the man in the greenhouse said a... Uh, yeah, he said a man in a cloak grabbed something and went towards the bent nail and uh another guy the well-dressed man said a puppet man was on the roof and he threw something into the crowd so that's what we know yep that kind of goes with what i was thinking um does he have a water did he get a cup of water is he drinking out of it your guy hasn't come back yet okay Okay. It's it's free. It's free advertisement. <laughs> Especially we have most with like our our logo on it. <laughs> be tight. It'll be tight. Get the carbon. You can do that. Working on other stuff. He starts walking around and looking at stuff and looking around the area and just taking it all in. Starts writing some things down. All right, he looks over to Sergeant uh, Cromley and he's like, keep questioning. I think I know what's going on. What do you do? Well, we were told to stay here and he's going to question us. So I will await questions. I'm going to say, where is Jenkins at? This is ridiculous. How hard is it to get water? <laughs> I can just see him in the poltergeist and they're fighting over cups now. <laughs> He's like, what the it. hell's going on? <laughs> just dip it in the barrel and bring it out. Uh, after a little bit, he comes back carrying six mugs. There he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all thirsty? Is there anybody thirsty? Anybody? I'm, yeah, I am. I'm to <laughs> take my mug. <laughs> <laughs> looks for us <laughs> so are, are, are you guys done asking us questions can we go or do we still have to wait after a few more minutes he comes back and he's like okay you can leave now you need a, you need a drink you thirsty you want a drink I want to ask because him right for it. we're going to start picking up um these bodies and taking them to uh, <laughs> Dolph Dark. <laughs> taking them to the local temples. Okay. So Excuse no me, Barnabas? Yes. Um, I overheard you say you figured it out. Is there anything that we can do to aid in this process? Um. Well, it seems uh, you know that uh, I can see your gauntlet. You might want to see if you could probably find somebody... Uh, I hold up my with the dead. my le- my member of the protectors and majest. 
And he says, yes, I, I, I read the uh, introduction of you jo joining it. Is there any way that we can get, like, a report? That way we can show it to our insurance to get covered the damages on the... <laughs> no? Okay. That's fine. He kind of glances at you. And looks back. I just don't want to... People think there's any funny business. That's okay. Um, I think a fireball in the middle of the street is funny business enough that people aren't going to question it. Watch Especially me. since you weren't there when it happened, per se. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, back to you, Creed. Uh, you might want to see if you could convince your uh, <laughs> friends to see if they could uh, do a speak with dead on uh, these bodies. It might help out the uh, investigation quite well. Will you um, be sure we have access to the bodies if I'm able to do so? Yeah, I can do that. You just have to report your findings to me. Of course. He starts taking the bodies away. They got them in a cart, and driving them off to one of the nearest... Uh, Near temples. Should we continue on to the bed now? <clears throat> Not that it's far, but <laughs> I don't know. This thirty feet's been really hard to get across. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been, but it's been, it's been knowledgeable. <laughs> it's not about the journey, but the wisdom that we pick up. I mean, I don't. I, I said we do. I mean, maybe so. Maybe the person ran in there. We can get more witness statements or whatever. Did the guards go into the bent now? I feel like we told them. I mean, we can go, but yeah, we they, did. They did go in there. You did see guards go in there. Have they come out <laughs> with some fine furniture? <laughs> no, they haven't come out yet. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely. Let's go to the base. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's. Have oh yeah, I gotta pick up some stuff anyway. We ordered something. Well, I'll tell Jenkins to pick up all the cups. Okay, you walk in there, um, and you see the guards are questioning the owner, and they're just asking, you know, what he saw, stuff like that. Nothing outrageous. He didn't see anything. He doesn't know what's going on. He just heard the explosion and, you know, ducked under the cover type thing. So is there any, like, soot or burnt, like, anything in here that tracked in or anything like that? Or right anything like that? That's performance. Hold on. Sorry. 13. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Sticking around. <laughs> is uh is the owner wearing a cloak or anything like that? No. Okay. Just looking for an excuse to get rid of the competition. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thoughts? yeah. All right. Yeah. So the guards finish their questioning, ah. and then they leave. Hey, Gonzo, I want to detect evil. Okay. You don't feel any. Okay. All right. When the guards leave, I wave to him. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, brothers. That's so, about our size. two things. Did you get the holy symbols done? They're not done yet. Okay. A few more days. And? And? Probably the same thing the guards are asking about. Guy in cloak, limping, coming your direction. Did you see him? Nobody came into my store. That's what I don't understand. Hmm. Maybe he went by it, but nobody came inside the store. We can go searching around it. Well, you can go out the alley on the other side of the bit nail to the main street. Well, thank you very much. See you later. Be safe. Yeah, I'd like to like go outside, toss my owl up in the air, and just kind of scan everything. Owl, <laughs> just get a bird's eye view. That's what I was saying. Isn't that abuse? <laughs> I think 
not if he tosses his owl. If I if not if not a real owl into the <laughs> air, that would be abuse. <laughs> Fly, Thor. <laughs> you don't, that doesn't see anything out of the ordinary. You do not see any cloaked individual walking with a limp. Oh, I missed it. All right, I'm going to my order to see if I can't get someone to. I'm going to go out to the, to the dead. Serdum Street. I'm going to go to Troll Skull and see if anybody's hurt that we Come know. On, brothers. Or We're going to find our... this cloak guy. All right. Halflings know anybody. Lazy. Okay. Uh, you go to the Troll Skull. Nothing's there. Nothing's hurt, really. Just minor damage on the outside. Um, Gives it character. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing bad at all. Uh, Did and... uh, anybody inside see anything? No. Hmm. They were too busy working. Not even the Nobody saw nothing. Okay. All right. So according to the map, the there's a big intersection on Serdun and Wayogond Way. I'm guessing that there's generally going to be a merchant or somebody that's hanging out at that corner that was there. And so I'm going to start asking people if they saw this cloak guy come out of the alley after the fireball. Uh, sorry, not many people saw a cloak guy. Nobody really saw a cloak guy. They did see this marionetting puppet on top of the Ooh. roof, which was an interesting thing because they were like, it looks like a marionette without strings walking on top of the roof. How tall? Which roof? They point to the roof and they, they don't know how tall, but it was tall enough that it, they could tell that it was not a human or, you know, not a, you know, Fleshy life form, I guess, the best way to put it. Okay. That's terrifying. Which way did he go? We didn't see. He was just up on the roof, and then he disappeared. He did drop something, though. We didn't see what he dropped, though. We just know he dropped. We just saw something fall from his hand. On this side or the other side? You put two and two together, it's what you got off the little boys. <laughs> I figured, but <laughs> all right. After we walk away from him, I'll go to my two brothers. Look what I found! <laughs> 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 the little boy behind the barrel found it, and I <laughs> bought it from him. <laughs> oh, okay. I bought this off a child. Parents. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if either one of our does it do any of us like recognize what this thing is? You're not there. You went back to the tavern. No. (laughs) (laughs) Do you think our either one of our factions would be able to identify it? Because I can't do it. Maybe Landry can. Oh, hey, try to check them out. Go back to the. Yeah, we'll go find Landry. Yeah. Okay, you get back to the tavern. There's Landry. And uh, Creed, you're back at your uh, the Silver Gauntlet headquarters, and they're like, Creed, how can I help you? Uh, there was an incident that took place uh, near our establishment where 11 people were murdered. I'm hoping that the Order will supply me with someone who can speak to the dead so we can start unraveling this mystery. Of course we can do that. Give me a second. He like yells off to somebody, and he there's a cleric that comes walking up. And he's like, "Yes." And she's like, "I need you to go with Creed and help him out." And they're like, "Okay." And Thank you. Walking with you. All right. Going to the closest temple to the area that we're we were in. <laughs> you get to the, excuse me. You get to the temple, and they said that. Um, they came by to grab a few priests, and they're now headed to the uh, North Ward uh, City Watch station. So I have to head that direction. Okay. So like since that. I'm over here, I'm going to go grab my 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 party. Okay. Y'all walk we'll in and see Landry standing there. What do you know? Them? Yeah, we're going to the station. Like you, yeah. Creed is yeah, not there a... yet. 
Creed is not there yet. You oh, see the brothers walk in and look at you. Hey! <laughs> I found yeah. this. Can you identify it? Is it magic? Do I know what this thing is? Um, You could give me... Uh, do you have a... Arcane? Uh, yeah, I can give you Arcana. Give me an Arcana roll. That, that is all needed. Nine. Can, can I do that too? Mm. Yeah, if you have Arcana, I'll let you have a roll on it. I've already decided I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that is, brother. <laughs> My roll didn't go over to the other side. Hold on, let me roll again. Yeah, it did. Oh, I did? 13. Yeah, 13. Yeah, 13. Oh no, that's perception. No, that's your perception roll. No, my let me try rolling again because I had I rolled a sixteen here, but hold on, I'm gonna do it again. Roll oh, sixteen, that's fine. Okay. Uh, yes. You both can tell that there is something magical about this. Um, <laughs> my brother that. And uh, John, you're like something to do with fire. You know it's magical and it has something to do with fire, but you're beyond <laughs> that. You're kind of like mm, you don't know. So something dropped, went big boom, and this is what's less. Does it look like it was holding more bees yes. or whatever? Yes. So it probably made the fireball and this probably survived. How many beads are missing off of it? One. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Easy peasy. Sweet. I'm going to put it on. <laughs> this you put it useful. on, the clasp is broken. Ah! Oh! I have to go find a jeweler now. Well, actually, there's probably a lot of extra chain for my size neck. I'll just tie a knot. <laughs> <laughs> just don't blow yourself up in the process. Yeah. Creed, you walk in <laughs> as Chris is trying to tie this necklace around his neck and tie it in a <laughs> knot. What are you doing? The clasp is broken. <laughs> But the chain is so long for my tiny neck. Oh, yeah, I found this. I think it, does, it, it, caused, I think it caused a fireball. We think, yeah. Oh. Our and best guess right now is that there used to be a third bead. And with the different reports of the puppet, we're putting things together. Does... Does anyone have the ability to check for residue magic on it? Uh, it's magical. That's all I can figure yeah, we out. Don't, we don't need okay. Vincent Trench to figure this out. We got this <laughs> mystery all on our own so far. I'm about to head over to the ward. My, uh, my guilt colleague right here is going to speak to the dead for us. Oh, I got to see this. Yeah. We're yeah, going. Coming yeah. Coming along. Along. Hi. <laughs> My name's <laughs> Sam Smith. Or that's my brother Sam Smith. We're never yeah, gonna this completely Smith. right. <laughs> Sam Smith. We're you, brothers. Uh, we're brothers. You walk up there and uh, I wanna uh, I wanna uh, before we walk over there, I wanna like pull everybody aside except the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, motivational speech. Isn't he part of, the, he part right. of our group yeah. now? I just wanna say, hey, give give us five, Mr. Sorry, cleric. Dude. Give us five. <laughs> Hey everybody! I know that we're. Uh, I know that we've seen some things today. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> a lot of dead bodies on the ground, but you know that's not, that's not us. We're not like that. We're not normal like them. <laughs> we're better than that. You need to stop carrying that tentacle around, man. It's. <laughs> so you need to understand that. Uh, there's looks like there's random puppets out here throwing out fireballs out of a necklace, and. Uh, <laughs> well, this is need, water deep. We just need to keep an extra eye out, you know. I think uh, I think we're gonna be just fine. <laughs> just want to motivate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Was it, was it five? Is it five now? It is six. Ooh. Ooh. Is, we're immortals now. I mean, we're immortals. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it back. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I like it. That's a significant <laughs> fraction of my points. <laughs> Don't take my life away. I like being immortal. <laughs> yeah, because what? Your hit points is like what? 10? No, mine's are 20. No. I have a high con. 
<laughs> I have a con of plus four. <laughs> could, could you not tell by the mountain? That we... <laughs> yeah, you get up to the. Um, I'm you curious. To the I watch, have to have a high There's con. a couple of guards standing there, and he's like, "What can I do for you?" <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we do our thing. <laughs> we do our thing. Yeah, we'll do our thing. <laughs> You do your thing. Okay. We do the thing. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. That's your screen. He's like, oh. Thanks for the intro, guys. Uh, this, uh, this is our high priest. Oh, whoa, Creed. whoa, whoa. There's no high. There's, I never claimed that. He's taught us much about Moradin. <laughs> My name is Creed Broken Shield. Uh, Barnabas, I believe his name is. Mm-hmm. Uh, told me that I will have access to the bodies. Um, oh, you must be a troll skull. Yes. yes. Come on in. They open the Thank door. You. and uh, Is it often that tavern keepers come here to speak with the dead? Just go downstairs into the morning. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of gives far? you that side eye look like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying not to laugh at the way, Dean. Please. How, please. how far? And what's this guy's name that we just met? Did we, did we his name? The the guy that you met, they're talking about Barnabas. No, no, no. The guy that was like working right here. At the... Oh, it's just a regular, just Joe Schmo guard. Joe Schmo guard. The clerk's name. How how far was he from the the tavern? Oh, you're very far away from your tavern. Okay, so he's not drinking at our tavern. Never mind. Okay. No. I was gonna try and smooth it. I was like, hey man, new ownership, control school. <laughs> you get business cards. Wouldn't yeah, I know. Oh, I will. That's gonna <laughs> happen. Little business scrolls. Little business yeah. scrolls. Oh, hey. <laughs> New ownership of the troll school. I'm just gonna put that in your put that in your pocket. <laughs> okay. Um, That's good for nothing off a drink right now. <laughs> you get escorted down to the morgue, and uh, Barnum is standing there. Uh, you see a couple of other priests um, uh, casting some type of spell on them right now. Ooh, is there a chair? Oh yeah, casting okay. it on Barnabas? No, oh, on, on the, the bodies. bodies. Okay. I'm going to pull the chair over closer because I can't see up that high. I'm just looking at tables at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'll do the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, anybody that has Arcana can roll to see whatever spell this is, especially oh, yeah. uh, any of the cleric or paladin type. 11. I am 100% into this. Is my roll? No. Yeah. Fair. I got a 12. You got a 10. Lent, you got an 11. <laughs> Would that just be a base intelligence roll? No, right. Tarkana. Tarkana. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. Yep. Uh, you're, right you're not sure what spell this is, but it's definitely not like a speak with dead. It looks like they're more preserving the body. Uh, what you are you casting? Mm. <laughs> Barnabas looks over at you. Shh. Mm. What are they casting? Gentle repose. So I don't Thank you. Oh, yeah. Or get turned undead. And he's like, Barnabas looks over at you, Creed. You brought someone new. Someone from the Order that can speak to dead. Ah, good. Um, You can have that person speak to this one right here. Look at the cleric. <clears throat> He's like, okay. Um, and the one that they uh, cast on is the person that has the uh, tattoo. Why is this oh. tattoo? So, what does he get out of him? Aha, uh-huh. he's casting Speak with Dead. I made the rule. <laughs> um, he casts a spell and he's like waiting because he's done. He's like, So, what do you want to ask him? What is it, Barnabas? Oh, we get to ask the questions. Oh, yes. Creed started. Go ahead. Should we find out what his favorite what happened? was? Doesn't say anything. You gotta be specific, just because so, I know you're not used to this. You gotta be specific with your questions. Um, I'll look over. 
how'd you get the tattoo? Yes, that's you good. You only get one. five, so you're down to four. Oh no! Oh, you didn't tell us. <laughs> Thanks, mystery cleric number one. Yeah, thanks for uh, giving us the rules up front. <laughs> So does that get answered or no? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> he already said that that's four. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah. The question counted. We need to know. Creed, what's your what's your next question? Oh, he didn't tell us. I want to know where his tattoo shop is. I know. Oh, so it has to come from me. Okay. Yeah, so he's, 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 he's working on... It's your order that is doing this. Right, I'm not right, true. Else answer these questions. Okay, okay, so consensus: Do we want to know where this tattoo came from, or do, is it? Is no, it we can hold off on that for now. I guess. Okay. Yeah, no. maybe if we have an extra. Question. Okay. Yeah. How about why were you killed? I don't know why I was killed. No, no, no. I, I'm asking Man. the group. I'm asking the group. This oh. is me talking to the group. <laughs> say your for consensus. Hmm. You think he'd know? Like, I'm sorry. I, I, you think he'd know about the Puppet Man? You think you could ask him? What does he know about the Puppet Man? Can we confirm amongst ourselves first, so we get all the all the information? You only so have that... ten minutes. That's how long the spell lasts. Okay, so quick question: Do we, so we I'm tell each other what... you now? Okay, yes. <laughs> now. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh my God, the pressure's real this week. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. How about you ask him since we know what the thing is? What was taken off of him? If we can figure that out, I was thinking that as well. So, but that was the gnome, not this guy. Oh, so we could ask what was the gnome carrying that could have caused? What do you want from the gnome? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, State Landry. So, like, do they? Do, does does any? Mm. I know, right? This dead guy is not limited speaking anywhere in limited enough. time is a lot of pressure. <laughs> we have 10 minutes. We usually do like 30 seconds. you got to ask the question for it to count. Three. I'm going to turn to the cleric. You, you you gave the wrong person the the ability to talk to him. I'm I'm not asking any questions. I'm asking you knuckleheads what to ask them. <laughs> yeah, we, we said ask you what the nomad that okay, they were so trying to I get. I was waiting for a consensus. Okay, so the brothers don't worry about going, them. What <laughs> go with your feelings, <laughs> or the devil on my shoulder, also known as Dean. Ask Moradin. <laughs> By the hammer of right, Moradin, <laughs> Claire. Um, what did the gnome have in his possession of value? We believe the gnome had an artifact. <gasps> that would can we all people... hear the answer? Just him. No, everybody can hear this. It speaks out. Oh, um, so we believe the gnome, Dalakar, had an artifact in possession that could make people as rich as kings. So the gnome's name is Dalakar. Does the sergeant know the gnome's name? Can I ask the sergeant, like, hey, do you... is this the first time you're hearing his name? Did, yes. write, did I see him write that down? Yeah. <laughs> Not the sergeant, but Barnabas. Barnabas. Oh, yeah, Barnabas. Uh, Question number three. Alicar. I mean, so guys, what do you think about what would be the importance of knowing where they were headed with this artifact? Well, what's the, well yeah, that's a good one. Or, or what was the artifact used? Well, we just know what the artifact was used for. Yeah, it said that it could make uh, people rich. How? Essentially. Kings. Ask him if he knows what the artifact was so we can know if we got it. No, no, get out of there. All right, so ask him if what is the name of the artifact? I don't know. God. Where were you guys headed with the artifact? We didn't have the artifact. We were trying to hunt the gnome, Delacar. Who who hired him to hunt the gnome Dalakar, or how did he know? I'm good with that. Everybody good with that? Yeah. Oh, this is okay. the last one. So uh, yeah, this is your last one. Uh, we worked for Ursula Floxen. Somebody Ursula, write that uh, down. <laughs> Can we get a spelling of that, please, sir? <laughs> I'll spell it for you. U R S T U L F L O X I N. We worked for him. Or work for it. They don't give a, a, a him or her. They type. 
Ersto Foxen. Fluxen. Flox. Fluxen. Fluxen. Um, That's a name. He resides at Grelhund Village. G R A L H U N D. Grelhund Village. Mm, that was helpful. Uh, clerics look at you and goes, okay. Um, who else? The gnome, right? The gnome, yeah. Yeah, let's go to the gnome. All right. Takes and casts a spell. You have 10 minutes, five questions. So right. ask him what the artifact was. Do we, do we know that this was the, well, no, no. What was the artifact? The stone of Golar. G O L O R R. I took Dang. it from a beholder. Oh, where was he taking it to? That's the next question. Where were you taking it to? I was taking it to a group of adventurers who'd rescued Lord Never Remembered Son from the Zimterium. Oh, I thought so they funny. would be safe in their hands. I'm sorry. That guy gets kidnapped a lot. <laughs> I heard about a group Always of getting kidnapped. who rescued Lord Never Remembers Son from the Zentarium and thought the stone would be safe in their hands. That's the reason I was headed to the Troll Skull Tavern. They're not open yet. Those adventurers wouldn't have been there. Oh, that's so cold. Uh, so he's definitely talking about us. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> um... Uh, the stone of Golar, he took it from a beholder. He was bringing us the stone. Who would want him dead? Or But like it just sounds like this. Who knows about the stone? Who knows about the artifact? Who knows you had the stone? Xanthar and one of the open lords of Waterdeep. Lord, never remember. Why does that name sound familiar to me? That's the sun. That's, we saved the sun. That's why. Okay. That's Wait. the guy that gave you the loan. Yeah, that's what they gave us a loan. Yeah. Dog on it, dude. <clears throat> um, ask him. Uh, ask us if. Ask him if he has any last words for his loved ones that he no, wants I, us to give. I don't care about that. He got his last words. That's what he's getting from me. I'm not wasting, to... wasting, wasting, wasting our questions on his knees. He should have been careful. Um, let's see. Does he know about the puppet? Yeah, that's who. Who was saying a puppet to kill you? I don't know about a puppet that would kill me. All I know is I was bringing it to these adventurers, and then the fireball went off. So we have one question left. Uh huh. Right. Dun dun dun. What were you hoping the adventurers would do with it? Well, he, no, stuff. don't ask, don't ask, no, that's not. Don't he was ask saying, that? Yeah, because he was saying it. that he wanted us to hold on to, to, to safekeeping. So who? I, well, so the question is, who was he wanting us to hold it for to come and get, it, come and kill us for? Right? Zan, Zan, Xanthar and the Open Lords of Waterdeep. I guess he just wanted us to protect. Do we know what the Stone of Golar does? Does he know what the Stone of Golar does? That's a good the richest kings. Yeah, it makes it richest kings. Yeah, but how? How? Oh, yeah. Magic. You get adventures to follow you. I think we could probably do the Magic. research on that. Um, I don't think we should waste our question on that one, right? Or yeah, what thoughts? He he might know right now. Have any of us heard the Stone of Golar before? Know what that is? No. Ask him. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and word it. Uh, my, how, however you were, how would you want me to word it? And that's what we're asking. Uh, what power does a Stone of Golar have? Uh, he tells you that is an artifact that uh, is the key to finding a horde of dragons. And this is, remember, gold is considered dragons, called dragons. 
uh, hidden somewhere in this city. Enough to make you as rich as a king. I can see why that'd be valuable. Don't know why he wouldn't use it, but alright. That's it, right? Uh, That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You can die now. <laughs> They're already dead. They're I know, right? Yeah. There's you nothing can rest there. in peace now. <laughs> we never introduced ourselves to these I guys. I know. I thought about that too. Damn it. And they're gone now. Forever, ever. Cool. Uh, you see him like marking down stuff. You see uh, him just writing stuff down in his, his book. The Barnabas. Barnabas, what are you thinking? Well, I keep hearing this thing about this puppet creature on the roof. What is this? We don't know. Um, what we gather is the puppet thing is what threw down the item that caused the fireball. What item did it throw down? <laughs> I'm gonna nudge a little bit. Some kind of necklace that causes fireballs. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like beads. If we'd seen it, <laughs> that seems like a pretty cool thing to. <laughs> I'm. Hmm. Who? It's hot in here. Um... <laughs> He looks over at you, Chris, and sees this big old freaking necklace on your body. I know he's wearing it. He's wearing Deception. It. Deception. Deception. I've always had this. Since this afternoon. Oh. He looks at he you. He technically paid for it. Is that yeah, the you... necklace? I rolled a 20 for deception. <laughs> These are not the necklace you're looking for. Yes. The necklace. I bought this off a child fair and square. <laughs> yeah, I paid for it. <laughs> there was just child dealing magic items in the alley. Right? Yeah, just a <laughs> random kid dealing magic <laughs> items. He's like, I need to have it. It is now state of it. It is now water deviant evidence to this case. I paid like five gold for it. Wait, do we do we get it back? <laughs> Takes it from you. Wait, we we get like, it back though, right? There he goes. You were walking around with this? As you see, like, his hands kind of glow and stuff. Did you expect me just to leave it laying around for children? You should have brought it directly to me. I found it, and we're here. There wasn't really any stops in between. <laughs> Creed's all, and, and the gyms. What about the gym? <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be like next to my brother giving the compliment. Look like, yeah, that's what we did. We yeah, just, we came here. Team. You asked a question, we just answered it. There you go. But but do we get the back though? Yeah. Yeah. Because he paid for it. I did. No, this is evidence. Okay. Well, after well, we figure out who did evidence. it. Yeah. Thank you for turning over evidence for this <laughs> murder. Okay, back to the brass tags. Do you know anybody that has puppet makeup? Thanks, high priest. <laughs> Um. Well, there is a. Uh, thanks for a minute. Well, during the parades, the fall seasons, we usually see these little walking creatures. They're kind of like robots. Uh, they usually come from the Temple of Gond. It could be a place you might want to look. Takes my necklace away. What a stupid job. All right. I know, right? I want to ask him what the Temple of Gond is. I'm new to Waterdeep. What's the Temple of Gond? The Temple of Gond? Well, is that what the, he just said, right? Yeah. The, uh. Sorry. I put it in my notes that he took it. Uh, when it, it is the god of craft, smithy, and inventiveness. Sounds like a dope god. Okay. Hmm. That's fair enough. Pick it up. 
Uh, it's down by the Sea Watch Street and Shark Street is where I remember it. So, are you going to continue investigating? Oh yes. So we, it's we're all understanding that he was bringing us the Stone of Golar. So if you find it, you know to bring that back to us. It was coming to us. We all heard that, right? Including yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Way to go, I Andrew. heard it, but I don't, I don't know if I want to. I'm going to go question the Lord of the Waterdeep of why he would send a gnome with an artifact to a bunch of adventurers. Understood. So, uh, Gonzo, the the direction that he's telling us of of these uh, wizards, I guess, is that the same direction towards the the mint nail. No, are you talking about the the Church of God or yes. Temple of God? Yes, yes. Or Temple of God? No. Okay. All right. We got two places: the Temple of God and the other place that the guy mentioned. Okay. Well, I mean, we know where to start looking. All right. right. What time of the day is it? Uh, it's actually getting late afternoon. Mm. It's on the afternoon time, Brady. You guys want to press on? Yeah. While, while it's hot? Yeah. Yeah, we have plenty of day left. Let's, okay. Let's... Is, uh, is everybody okay after the worm fight? Like, is everybody back to normal or? I think, who was it? Miz who got hit the hardest. Um, I'm sitting at 14 out of 15, or, well, no, hang on. With the temporary hit points, I'm at max plus five. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're, we're all good. I'm, I think I'm down four, but. Fair enough. Let's go. Yeah, according to the map, we just have to take one major street from our alleyway over to the Temple of Gond. Yeah, we'll go there. After we get directions, of course, and know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To the temple. To the temple gone. Let's go. All right. Uh, you head over to the temple. So we have the temple also of ground was it? Grandhand Village or whatever that place is for the Usla Waxen or whatever that name was. Just so we have our options open in case Temple of Gun doesn't work out. Yeah. You uh, you start making your way there and you notice as you get there, you see the house. It was called the House of Inspired Hands. It kind of looks like a temple crossed with a workshop. Oh, um, cool. And everything. Uh, the symbol of Gon, which is a tooth cogged with four spokes, is big up on the symbol, up on the side of the, the <clears throat> workshop slash temple. Mm -hmm. um, you're looking around, and all of a sudden you see a humanoid shape perched on the rooftop. <gasps> it extends an arm and releases this tiny piece of sparrow and comes down to the sky and starts looping in the air and then comes straight for you. Roll initiative. Son of Ooh, like it. Nice, Sue. 18. Plus one. Even your weird initiative numbers. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just getting the ties. Yeah. 19.12. <laughs> that makes it easy to break ties. Uh, Sam Smith, you, everybody go? Uh, no, we're waiting on Damon. You wait on me? Yeah, roll, roll an issue. Oh, my apologies. Always. Here we go. There we go. All right. Um, <clears throat> Sam Smith, you have first initiative. This thing is still high up in the air. What do you plan on doing? Um, I think Alamar or my brother will probably take care of that thing. I'm swooping towards this. I'm going to go for the doll, the puppet thing that's up, in, up there, it's and I'll shoot it. already yeah. disappeared. Oh, dang it. I'll shoot the, my Batman, and here comes Robin. I know, right? 
I'll blast a little sparrow that's coming towards us out of the air. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Roll to hit it. It's a pretty little bird. Yep, that's not going to hit it. <laughs> you throw this bolt and it just flies through the air and it's a bit. Uh, next is going to be Landry. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to back up no, no, quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Good. No, yeah, Landry is. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's Dean. You're right. No, you know. No, you got a 19. I got a 14. Yeah. You, oh, you, I, oh, yeah. I saw a 20. Okay, that's a deception. Okay. Yeah, that's a deception. Yeah, no, no. I'm gonna. Well, for one, I'm gonna go ahead and try and like send my <laughs> owl to go at the sparrow to yeah. just. Try and uh, try and help anybody who's going to try and attack it. As I back up, and uh, I will, I will try and hit it with the old chill touch. Try and hit that little sparrow. All right, roll the hit. Uh, Eleven misses. Yeah. Then... Nobody wants to hurt the sparrow. <laughs> Chris. Ray of Frost misses equally as good as everybody else. <laughs> oh, nat one. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it is a nat one. Yeah. <laughs> Alomar? Um, shit. I was just trying to freeze it so we could catch it. I am going to attempt to hit it with my short bow. Okay. That I carry, that I normally carry on my back. You hit. You hit it, and it shatters into a million pieces. Oh. God damn it! Why did I have to be the one to do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> bird versus bird. I love sparrows. Like that's my name. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Leave it to me to be the one. <sighs> How high is the? We're gonna thing? start picking up the pieces. Uh, it actually goes into like a tiny, like shatter pieces, so they're really, really tiny. Hey Landry, can you get your owl to follow the puppet? Yeah, sure. Are we done here? Are is the combat over? Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it's shattered. shattered. <laughs> she shot it with an arrow. I just shattered a sparrow. It's a T one thousand. It'll start melt- melting back together. Soon. <laughs> a metallic sparrow. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send my owl up there to go see if you can see where this <laughs> puppet went. You don't I'll try to see if there's... At all. <sighs> uh, do I see any entrances up top or anything like that? Or any doors do, up top? You do see a door that uh, is on the top of the roof that looks like it goes down. And that looks like the only... Mm, no ropes or anything coming up the side or anything? Nope. There's a door up top, guys. That little sparrow throwing robot <laughs> just came out the, the top hatch of that building. All right, Creed, lead us, lead us, our high priest, into this temple. Oh, th- this is my job. So, okay. So, yeah, why not? Let's go into the temple. <laughs> Going in. I mean, uh, I know Morden is a god of war, but I'm pretty sure he's... Well, I don't know. Is he an ally of God? I have no idea. They're, they're, they're universal with each other. They're not at war or anything. You walk in. Uh, as soon as you walk in, you notice this long corridor with about a dozen, about two dozen marble pedestals. <sighs> With like miniature things on top of it as y'all are walking down. Uh, shorter people cannot see what's on these pedestals. Damn it. Do it. Ugh. Alamar. <laughs> Alamar. You're going to assume the brotherly position of both brothers on my shoulders. Thank awesome. you. <laughs> Ooh, wow. That it's tiny. <laughs> uh, as you're walking by and you notice, as you see down I feel like the a end, giant, there is someone down there doing stuff. But as you're walking, uh, you notice a few things. A small wooden flying machine uh, that has wings uh, that can look like it could flap. Um, a miniature clock tower. Um, you see a miniature dragon turtle. 
um, on one of the pedestals. I want him as a pet. Um, you see what's called a walking helmet. Uh, and all this stuff is like really small. You know, they're, they're miniatures. They're not, you know, large size. And uh, a red submarine shaped manta ray. They all huh. have like little plaques. I like them. Guys, this is amazing. Yeah, they need <laughs> them. Uh, you get to the one of the little dragon turtle, and it says Big Belchy sank in deep water harbor on the day of wonders in 1363 DR. And and what are these made? They're all wood. So it's no, in the they're harbor. They're metal and different carvings and stuff okay. like that. We're going to have to repair it. Um, you get to the one that looks like a red submarine shaped like a manta ray, and it says the Scarlet Marpanoth, Latinus Submersus, launched in 1489 DR. It didn't sink. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> But we can see somebody at the end. What yes. are they doing? You see, uh, some working. They're like crafting. <laughs> Man, I definitely I don't. Could want... have got my necklace fixed here. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. This is so sad. Do they recognize us coming up on them right now? Like, are they busy? Too busy in their work? There is just one. Oh, is he, he busy in his work? He doesn't know who we are. He will soon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you eventually get to him, and uh, he starts stops banging, or you think, and turns around, and it is a uh, bronze dragon, dragonborn. <gasps> mm. okay. Oops. It's like uh, greetings. I am Valletta. What can I do for you today? Valletta. V a hey, Valletta. T T A. This is Dean Smith. This is Alamar Smith. And that is Sam Smith. We're, We're bro brothers. And as annoying as that might feel to you, it's more annoying to us. <laughs> 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 so, what was his name again? V A L E T T A. Thank you. And what can I do for you five? What do, you, what do you know about a uh, puppet on top of your roof throwing down sparrows at people? That's Nim. Okay. What has Nim done? Mm. I only killed 11 people today. What? Well, we're not 100% sure, but there was a puppet thing near our alleyway that dropped a fireball necklace onto a crowd <laughs> might have been him maybe um, but the, uh, that person just dropped a sparrow on us or towards us which is shattered and I don't remember who picked it up nothing does it sound like your buddy Nim come in I'll take you to the Nimble White I don't know what that is, but I'm willing to go. That's Nim. They're nimble right. Nimble right. W R I G H T, by the way. Nimble right. Okay. Uh, he leads you up the stair, this uh, spiraling staircase, and comes up to this door, and he's like, What? This lock, I do not know. Um, and I do not have a key. Can one of you open it? Detect Alamar can. I'm positive. And I kind of crease through the detect evil. Uh, you don't feel any evil from this area. Mm. Oh. I'll give Alan more space. Can I ask him, you know, hey, what what do you know about these nimble rights? What what is what exactly is that? Uh they're just autonomous creatures. Uh um, they have souls. <laughs> no. Who controls them? They control themselves. Okay. Autonomous creatures who control themselves. What morals do these creatures follow? You'll have to ask them themselves. Right. We get to talk to anonymous creatures. 
who uh, who built these things. That's something you'll have to talk to them about. And they just live up here and lock themselves up in rooms. Nim does. Why? You will have to talk to Nim. All right. Well, I cannot. Have you ever had you problems with Nims? No, I've never had a problem with Nim at all. Knock um, on the door. So, well, I don't understand why we still standing here. Knock on the door. Well, no, it's, it says. I mean, Alamar can open this. Can't can Alamar? Yeah, but if we knock and someone answer, why? What was... You knock, nothing happens. Yeah. Then I would like to use my thieves' tools. And Make it happen. Yes. Lock picket. Um. Do, 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 do. You walk up and no. You try your picks in it. Hang on. It's a dex check. Did it do the thing? Not seeing anything. No, it did not do the thing. Ten. You walk up and you're like, doesn't move. Well, crap. Use. Can green, anyone detect I could use a green mortar and hammer and, and, and melt it with acid. You will not damage the things in here. The letter doesn't give good information very well. All right. Uh, do we sense that there's any magic on this door? I don't know. How tall was this building? Story is high. Multiple. Mike, would you say more or less than 50 feet? It's about three stories high. Okay. So about 40 feet high? Yep. I mean, I can have my owl carry my rope up there to the top when we go the top way. I don't think he would lock the top. You know. Well, does the roof door lead to the other side of this, Valletta? Uh, it could be. I know that there's a roof access. I mean, can anyone detect magic on the door? Because if so, let's just kick it in. He, he said we can't damage anything. Yeah, we can't. So yeah, we can't he's not going to let you. We can't do brute force this time. Yeah. Is so... there anybody else that would have the key? No. Okay, well, start making my way outside. <laughs> Let's see, I'll have a better idea. I'll knock on the door again. Nim! You don't hear anything? I'm going to bang on the door. I'm like, Nim, get your ass out here, Nim. <laughs> Throwing sparrows at us. You're always so helpful when it comes to the <laughs> <laughs> talking to people. <laughs> hey, hey Alamar, can I try to use your picks? And threaten him. Can I try use Alamar? Can I can I use your can I try to use your picks and open it? Sure. Does that work, Gonzo? Yep, that does. <laughs> <laughs> you go and it pops. Okay. Wow, Sam! <laughs> Didn't know. Well, let's get in. Wait, uh, hey Landry, come back in here. We got the door open. <laughs> I'll come back up the stairs. Rush in. Thanks, Alamar. Of course, brother. I need to buy some of <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll go in. Creed, you're leading or what? No, I already rushed in. Oh, okay. Uh, well, um, I guess I'm second. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. You got to, you know, 
a lot of headspace over him, so you're good. Yeah. Uh, you open it, and out from this pile of junk, basically, you really can't tell because it's a amalgamation of mechanical parts, comes this looking creature. You can look oh. at the link I sent you. Hopefully, it'll come through pretty well. Open a new tent. Oh, that's so badass. Oh. Oh, it's so cute. That's dope. Look at the handsome gentleman. That is pretty cool. How I tall love is he? Uh, human size. I bow to him. <laughs> Hello, Whoa. good sir. Is he armed? No. Okay. But that's what they look like. That's so cool. I might need to make my next artifact to look like this. Excuse me, are you Nim? Shakes his head. Did you throw a sparrow at us? He kind of goes like, he, you can tell that he can't speak, so he's trying to use his hand gestures. He's like... Sort of maybe possibly could have been me. He's like, I didn't throw it, I just dropped it. <laughs> Were you at Troll Skull Alley today? Oh, you know sign language? Is that what's going on yeah. here? He kind of like gives you like some weird type of sign language. So since he's speaking, <laughs> would I be able to telepathically communicate and be able to relay those, message, those messages to the rest of the group? No, because it's not an actual voice in his head. I mean, I don't technically have a voice of my own. The thing is, is he doesn't have, he doesn't have a voice. Ah, uh, fine. Okay. He can understand you well. He just can't communicate besides using gestures with his hands. I want to. I want to like gesture the the dragonborn. I'm like, do you understand what this man is saying right now? Do a you... little. It's his own little sign language stuff. I could try. Um, okay. But I can't get. Can he write? Uh, just uh, I'm gonna say three words to you. Uh, the Stone of Golar. I don't want to like, gauge his reaction. He doesn't know anything about it. Valletta kind of can repeat what he's saying. Doesn't know anything about it. Mm. Ooh. Fireball Fire. necklace? Yeah. Nothing. Don't know anything about it. Are there other nimble rites like you in town? Yes. Okay. I built one recently and it took off. Wait, he said that, or the, the nimble right said that. Valletta is translating what Nim is saying. Okay. Valletta you says can... that he built, not he, Nim built one about a month ago, but it ran away in terror, and he hadn't seen it since. Mm. Why did it run away in terror? Don't know. As far as you know, is he the only nimble right running around? Unfettered, yes, good choice words at the end. What a uh, uh, what motivates you, Mr. Nimble, right? I just like to create. Well, what, what motivated your son? I don't know. He just as soon as I as soon as he was built, he ran off in terror. Uh, a couple of hours ago, a fireball went off across the city. And he is suspected by the guards of possibly throwing the necklace piece that created the fireball. He does like the Picard hand on his forehead type thing. Like, <sighs> oh, shit. He says, give me, Valet is translating. Give me a second. He walks back into this junk a pile. And rummages Hopefully around and then comes out with an item. And this is the item he comes back with. What in tarnation? Does it track the other Nim? He says yes. He, <laughs> gives he tells yes! you how to use it. It's, it's only about a foot long, so it's about as you know, big as you. Good God, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's half my size. Sam right. and Dean will not be carrying it. Does 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 the one you created does it have his own name? Nothing he knows of. Okay. How would you stop him? Use this to find him. But what it what is he? Uh, <laughs> what hurts him? Anything where we can be destroyed. I mean, we're just a built thing. We're a construct. Do you, do you want us to try to bring him back to you? If obviously, I mean, I, I don't know how things mean to you since it's a construct. So probably be better if it's destroyed. Okay, just making sure. What does it know? Uh, he teaches you how to use it. That you grasp it and clasp it together, and then it starts to when it's within within a certain distance, it'll start spinning and whirling, and clicking, and the faster it goes, and then it's you know faster the clicks are, the closer you are to the target. Is it based on like is it detecting him in here right now? No, it or detects that a... one particular. Oh, app. only that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, I was about to ask that. We're not about to go accidentally jump a third Nimborite who's hanging out in Waterdeep somewhere, right? Okay, just make just making sure. Party of adventurers slays fifteen Nimborites. I hold it above me for a little while. I feel like Mary Poppins. Uh, Valetta, she looks over at you and goes, um, "You bring me proof of the destroyed Nimborite, um, and I will give you." Four magic items and 500 gold pieces. <gasps> Sweet. Uh, Mr. Does this uh, something that happens frequently? Deal. Uh, yep, deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You make your way down to the troll skull, and I have a fresh pint of ale for you. Why are we giving away stuff? It's like, equal equal trade. <laughs> you need to make you gotta, money first. You got to get them coming. They got to show up. Yeah, maybe we can have all the Gondites over there. Uh, you do have what is called, so someone make notice, nimble white detector is what that is. Perfect. Is it shiny? It looks brass. Ooh. I'm well, gonna like give I it said, it's over a foot tall. Well, I, well, actually, I don't have it. I've not touched it yet, so yeah. I can't give ah. it to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, since it's rather large for me, I'll, I'll pass it to him. Oh, well, I'll let Dean play with it first because he's looking at it too. So it's like, ooh, shit. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's what I was doing. <laughs> Another oh. question, Mr. Nim. My brother here, pointing at Alamar, really liked your sparrow. Is there a way you could make a sparrow for him? No. It, why did he? Why did he attack us with a sparrow? Though I don't understand that. I didn't attack you. you. It left my hand one? and dived toward y'all. <laughs> You're just a plethora of mistakes today, aren't you? As a threat, thank you. <laughs> well, just a just a heads up. You probably shouldn't throw sparrows at people. Just... And then run away too. You, I mean, at least that's just childish, Nim. Come on. Landry's Why are you? This is a grown Nim here. You can't treat him like a child. He <laughs> lost his son. And we just killed his bird. I'm gonna go hug Nim. Are you hugging him around the shin? Yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry, Nim. <laughs> And it'll be around the We'll kill out. your son for you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll goes, be back. He turns around we, and goes back to working on stuff. We've demonstrated that we can kill a sparrow, so <laughs> obviously the next son step. should be no problem. It goes sparrow, human size nimble right, dragon. Then we're done. We can retire. So <laughs> if you find yourself thirsty, Mr. Nim, Pearl Skull Manor. <laughs> right, uh, Valletta. What do we have to drink that he would want? <laughs> Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Why we just got to get the name Are out we there? We just Everybody's gonna put him a know. lantern on the table and he can pour a shot out of the Everybody's got to know. Everybody's got to know. <laughs> if, what if somebody comes up and is like, "Hey, where do you get drinks around?" He's like, "I don't know." There's a troll skull manor or something like that. 
Got to get out there. Got to. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm gonna sit and wait till Nim can sign Troll Skull Manor to a random person on the street, and they know what he means. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Dude, why are we wasting all this time? Let's go find this and make this money. Get these, get these why are you guys items. all so opposed to making new friends? <laughs> why are you so opposed to promoting our manor, which we're in debt to? <laughs> right. I'm not. That's creed. <laughs> I'm just saying that Nim here. What? You might be asking a lot of him. <laughs> um, you go down and she leads you out. And of course, y'all get outside and the doors close. And this is where we're going to end. You've got the <laughs> nibble right detector. You've got to yep. search the entire Exxon, uh, entire city of Waterdeep to oh, find. Well, at least it's just right. barely bigger than a fishing village. So, barely bigger. <laughs> it was like 20 minutes of searching, I think. And here we go with our dance music. Everybody get ready. Dance. <laughs> Doing the dice thing too much. <laughs> no.